what's going on guys, my name is Icebox Gaming, and today I am going to be basically give you guys, well not basically, I'm going to show you what I use to record YouTube videos. I'm pretty sure you don't have to use this just for YouTube, you could use this for any of them, but today this is just for the YouTube or whatever you're using. So what I use, I started using, I what I used to use, which is, if you guys want a good one that I personally like, it's called Smart Pixel. I'm not reviewing that in this episode, but I'm recording Ice Cream. Basically, what ice cream is, I'm not going to open it, but ice cream is very good. I really enjoy it. It's good quality, but, alright, here's the menu. Once you get ice cream, all the links are in the des description below, there, you can get the free or pro. I have the pro version. The only cons with the free version is because, first of all, you can only have 10-minute videos. That's okay if you guys only like short videos or you have an editor. I'll get on the, my editor next. You can only record 10 minutes with the editor, and, it, and it, the videos only come out as webums. With the pro version, you get unlimited time and more than just web vi webum video types. Also, on the pro pro version, you have a choice of a lot more options on this, like so stuff like this. Like on the pro version, the it's it's just better quality. I I like better quality. And it's uh, very useful. Alright, so what happens when you start recording is going to bring up a bunch of hotkeys. This is what I love about um, Ice Cream. Ice Cream Screen Recorder has a bunch of hotkeys. I had it on my Smart Pixel, but this is insane. Because they, it, you, if you guys just want to make a just one click video and just go straight into it, it's amazing. Because there's hotkeys. If you don't know what hotkeys are, it's like Control Shift Stop S, which stop the video, which is actually the actual thing. So when you click on the, they usually have a record. It'd go, uh, are you ready to record and, and, and show all the hotkeys at the bottom, low corner? It'd be like, do don't show us again. I would keep it up unless you have it written down. But and then you'll click OK. It goes three, two, one, and then you're recording. And they also have a starting one. But let's get that's basically it for this um, ice cream. It's really useful. I really would prescri you. I would prescribe using it. Next, let's get on my editor. I have a, I already start, it's called Smart Pixel. I started using their, the, Smart Pixel is, uh, sorry, Smart Pixel is very good for many different things. It's if you want to make anything, really. So, if you want to make, like, a gaming video, it's, it's going to be harder, just because the quality of their, um, recording system, or recording software is not too good. I, I definitely would use this, but anyways, let's get into the editor. The great thing about the editor is you can just go ahead, press that upload button, go straight up to your YouTube channel, and it's amazing. Also, it, you can drag and clip, so I might intro things, and once I finish, and then once you get a video done, you can bring it in here, and then you have a whole bunch of edge settings. Like, let me just use my intro for an example. So, you can do a lot of things. This is, it. well, on the this recording uh, editing system, you have about a 30 second... If you have more than 30 seconds, your video can go up. If you have lo less than 30 seconds, then you can't make the video. It's weird. I don't know why it does that, but it just does it. So, once you do that, you can add a bunch of different things. There's a bunch of projects I've done in my old videos, but here you go. You can add sad. You can add music. I don't know why that's up there, but okay. And audio. See, this is all like audio you could use for your video. And then we have effects. I, u I use one of these in my videos. Like... Like, if something happens, like, you can just get anything, any, any one of these. I think there's actually a normal one. I don't know. But if there is, I'll definitely tell you guys. So, that's it for this. But also, the great thing about this, you can import videos. That's how I use it. And then you can also save them. And, like, if you have to turn off your computer, put, and if you're going somewhere, you can just save the video. And then, once you come back, it'll just come right up. That's the great thing about it. And, yeah. I mean, I, I the only thing about the... Pro, the, once I, I explained everything, the only cons about this, whenever you record your video or anything, it's, and you have the, you can, okay, once again, this is a pro or not pro version, on each, any versions, you're gonna have this little thing up at your top of your screen, if you don't really mind little things, then it's fine, but if you don't, if you, it's like Bandicam, if you know what Bandicam is, it's great, but they have this little, like, marker on the top that's like, well, I mean, if it's good, I'll use it, but it's just, it's just like a thing saying, oh, go to our website and give us money, basically. 
Well, not really. I not really that. I don't know. But I um I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, you could also if you're gonna add it, you can just you can just. The great thing about this, you don't have to go like typing like 40 minutes of like like typing and files. You can just drag everything, which is great. I love that. And then down here, you could like cut back to this. You can cut and paste. Well, not cut and paste, but cut the video. You so like if you want, and also uh, so you can also in the, here you can dub it and you can speed it up and you can have captions, which all are great. I love them. But um, all the all right. I'm gonna go through a little basic tutorial on preview. It gives you. There you go. That's my intro. But it gives you a little idea of what your video is gonna be like. Generate just helps um keep it going, not lag out. But right here, this is the editing. This helps. Like, if you want to start, like, if you want to, like, oh, I have to go ahead. You could just, like, if you're in, and then you're in the middle, like, if, let's say I'm, like, right here, I'm, like, and then I'm, like, oh, I have to move ahead. You just click on this. It resumes it. You could also do that with this, but I don't know why. I just You could do it either. I just picked this one. But, um, I don't really know why I picked either, but, either or. But, that's really, this, that's really it for clipping. You can also cut and drag with this. So, yeah. If, oh, so, like, if you have a really long video, I made a mistake once, and then it, it sometimes starts out really small, like that long, and they're like just over 30 seconds, It and then you have only a 30 second episode, and then it's horrible. That's why you have to make sure these are all the way at the end of your video. Let's go into caption. Captions are basically like the effects, but they're just a solid word. The audio, you know what audio is, unless you don't, it's just the sounds, and you can add dubbing. Well, it's really just, I don't know how to explain dubbing, so you guys have to look at that yourself. Speed is just speeding the whole thing up. It's like, if you think of Sonic, if any of you know Sonic, if you don't know what Sonic is, please search him up. He's a really fast hedgehog. It just speeds things up. That's basically what it is. In effect, you know what effect does. It's these, and you can edit that. So if let's say I want to bring this in, and that's how I'd edit it. That's basically all I use, and then, well, I actually usually export it, so, yeah. And then, um, thumbnailing. I just use something called Nova um, Skin Wallpaper. I'll link you to that in the description. So, uh, sorry, if you're, yeah, you can still use it, but, um, that's basically what I use. I don't think, I'm not, the reason I'm not putting an intro on this, I don't want to waste time on this video, but, once again, I love both of these things. They're very useful. Ice cream. I would go ahead, go get the Pro. I'm not trying to advertise, not sponsor anything. But if I were you, I'd get the Pro. It's like, it's amazing. It's like $29, I think, for two computers, two PCs. It's also, this is all for PC. I'm sorry for anyone on Mac. I know how you feel. Feel. I had a Mac. It was horrible. Uh, I, I don't know what to say for Mac people. Usually, you should use ScreenFlow. That's great. Use ScreenFlow. So, yeah. Um, if you guys did like this video and want uh, more of, like, what I use to thumbnail and make my intros, oh, intros, I will make a video, my next video will be on, well, next tutorial video will be on my, um, what I use for intro and, um, uh, intros. So, anyways, I enjoy these things, I hope you guys, if you guys get them too, um, they'll, all the links are in the description below, so go to them, and they're really free really people really good to use i like them also here's another thing with ice cream like if you like let's say like while you're making the video it just it comes up here automatically don't worry it's not giving you viruses it comes up automatically right here so yeah um if you guys did enjoy this video it helped you a lot please tell me in the description and please subscribe for daily content and if you and i hope you guys stick around for that next thumbnailing video so see you guys then bye